Uh, broke the owl. Broke the owl. Say. Broke the owl. Broke the owl. Say. Broke the owl. Broke the owl. Say. All praise unto the Abba. Shimei Al Shai. Wa Ra Kakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors to you, brothers, to be pushing the truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So this is going to be um a quick video uh, going into the plague, uh, one of the major plagues that's uh, uh, um basically out here, and that's the um that's the plague of faithlessness. Okay, that's a, a that's a major plague that's that's been pushed out there. Really, good. if you go into the scriptures with reference to the Israelites, the Mosai set it up. And we're going to see that scripture within the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter. The Lord basically set it up that what? That, uh, uh, um, uh, basically that what? That, the, um, that the Jakes, okay, certain Israelites wasn't going to understand this truth until this kingdom be laid waste. So let's start here within this scripture here to set the, the to set the premise, uh, the book of, um, second Ezra is the 15th chapter and, um, the third, third verse, and says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee and speak against thee. Okay, because basically you're going to have a whole bunch of dudes come up against this truth, okay, through a lack of faith. All right, and this all goes back onto what? Onto the fact that the Mosai has set it up. Well, we're already in the right chapter here. Okay, the Mosai had set it up. That's the spirit. The Mosai set it up that what? The certain geezers wasn't going to understand this thing because the Mosai had blinded them. Okay, from the foundations of the earth. So the book of Second Peter is the third chapter and the third verse. Knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers, walking after their own lusts. Okay, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? This is the major plague that's taken over. One of the major plagues that's taken over this world. That The, the lack of faith, man. All right. You know, uh, uh, the belief in the moral side goes a hell of a long way. Matter of fact, the scripture talks about how if you have a grain of a mustard seed, which is a small, small thing. Okay. Basically, that was gonna that was gonna be a a, 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 a a turn into a massive thing, okay. But you got a hell of a lot of unbelief out here, and Esau pushes this thing of sciences and and misinformation and disinformation. And you check out most of these major so called major religions, and you check out what God they believe from person to person. What they believe that their God does for them is totally different. But here, a great milestone, you have consistency, man. All right, we, there is there is a coherence here. We're the only group within the world where you ha where you find coherence as to um uh, uh, what we believe, okay, and how our, how we conduct ourselves with reference to our power. Right, you ask these people why they do certain things, even though they call themselves Muslims, even though they call themselves Christians. All right, they do it because they say that they believe that their God's gonna allow them to do that, and the next person within the so-called same religion will say otherwise. And this is because ultimately these people's gods is their own belly. Okay, right? We ignore. We we'll ignore that. All right. Hopefully that's up. Let's turn into flight mode. In fact, all right. Let's go to flight mode. All right. So we're in flight mode now. So they they should they shouldn't be any distractions. All right. So basically these people's gods is their own belly. All right. So knowing this first that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, "Where is the promise of his coming?" All right, for since the fathers have fallen asleep, all things continue as they did from the beginning, and that's one of the major plagues. That you go out here, you got a whole bunch, you got a whole bunch of people out here that are just non-believers, man. All right, now let's go into the scriptures, the curse, the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter, okay, and and the ninth verse. Um, and he said unto me, Go and tell these people, he indeed, but understand not. This is what we read within the book of Second Peter, the third chapter, because they hear the word of the Lord, but they don't understand it, okay, or well, they don't want to understand it. All right, they, they see the, the different prophecies coming to pass, but they ain't got the faith to what? To basically, uh, 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 um, uh, to go to the next stage. All right, and understand, understand not, see indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat. This is talking about the Israelites. Make their ears heavy and shut up their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Because ultimately, when you have that faith, you, you, you're converted into being a new man. The scripture talks about being a new man. Okay, you're converted, you're healed, and ultimately you become a new man. Okay, let's check out this other uh, 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 scripture, uh, faith and gift. All right, because it is a gift. All right. Um, so, which one is it? Okay, bear with me.
I should know this off by heart, but it's, a, it's not one I, you know, I, I use often. Let's put is there, hopefully. I only remember it. Uh, the certain words that. Uh, yeah, here we go. So Ephesians 2 and 8 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of the moral side. So the faith that we have in this truth is a gift from the moral side, because ultimately when you check out what the moral side set up, all right, it weren't through works, all right, it wasn't because you did a, a million videos, it wasn't because, no, it was because it was a gift that the moral side had given unto certain individuals, all right, which is a thing called the elect. All right. Uh, 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 um, now, let me get this first precept there, actually. I go to that. Uh, Romans 3 and 3, it says, what if some did not believe? Shall this make the, um, shall that, what if some did, uh, what for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief, okay, their faithlessness, make the faithful the more side without effect? All right. Let me couple that with another scripture. The book of Isaiah, uh, 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 the 54th chapter, and I think it's around the 15th verse. All right, Isaiah 54 and, uh, and, um, and 15. Okay, is that the one I wanted? No, no, that's not the one I wanted. That's not the one I want. It's luckier. Let me do the search again. Uh, um, the search function, so shall my word be. It's in the book of Isaiah. Okay, so shall my word be. The book of Isaiah. Um... Prior to that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Isaiah 55 and 11, it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, and it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish there uh, that which I uh, I please, and it shall prosper in the thing I send it to. And that goes in with this scripture. For what if some believe, did not believe in that word of the most? Like, what if they didn't have the faith that the, what the Lord was saying through these scriptures was going to happen? That America was going to be destroyed by our ICBM UK missiles. All right, the the, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, the chip was going to be pushed out there. Okay, the the more side Yahweh was going to kill all of these people. All right, what if they don't believe? They didn't believe that. Well, the scripture says that 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 uh, 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 um, whatever the more side was going to say wasn't going to return void. And hence this scripture: For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief, their faithlessness, make the faith of the more side without effect? God forbid. Yea, let the more side be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and mightest overcome when thou art uh, judged. Okay, next precept. The book of uh, uh, um, uh, Romans 11 and 7. Okay, uh, in fact, yeah, the book of Romans uh, the book of Romans 11 and 7 says, What then Israel has not obtained that which it seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. Alright, so what do, what do all Israel seek? They seek after the uh, truth. Right, they seek uh, after a uh, spiritual enlightenment would be a bit, you know, would you know, which is truth. Okay, they seek after spiritual enlightenment. It's just a fancy way of saying seeking for the truth. Okay, what then? Uh, uh, what then? Israel has not obtained that which it seeketh for. So that's why you see all these Israelites out there within these different churches. All right, because they're seeking after the truth. Shall this make? Uh, uh, um, what then? Shall Israel has not obtained that which it seeketh for? But the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the book of Isaiah 6 and 9, the more side has given them a spirit of slumber, uh, eyes that they should not hear, and see, and ears that they should not uh, hear unto this day. And David saith, let their table become a snare. So when they open up the scriptures to try to get the, uh, uh, the spiritual enlightenment, or when they go into certain religions, they get trapped up in it. All right. And David saith, let their table be made a snare, and a, and a trap, and a stumbling block. And a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened. So like here, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, right? And go down uh, 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 that they may not see, and bow down their uh, uh, back always. All right. I said. I say then, have they stumbled that they should not that they should not fall? The more side forbid, but rather through therefore salvation was come unto the Gentiles, right? To provoke them unto jealousy, and that goes into what the fact that when the Lord was on the scene. All right. Uh, he went on to the, 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 the Jews that was, you know, the straight up Israelites that was in the land of Judea. All right. And then he went on to the, uh, uh, the so-called uh, Israelite foreigners. OK, which were known as, as Jews. And the proof of that is really in the 25th verse. All right. You can check out the videos that we did on the Gentiles. The Gentiles is talking about there is not heathens, but rather is Israelite foreigners, man. OK, so pretty much, you know, that's the video. All right. Uh, 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 um, 
you know, there's a plague of um, uh, 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 faithlessness, out there, faithlessness out there. But the scripture says that what? That the just shall live by faith. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say, Oh, praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Wahar Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles of great millstone. I want to be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.